property today we will see how we can upload a file from a react.js application into a google drive folder using node.js and react.js <coughs> to do that uh, if you head over to google and search for google drive api with node.js we will see that there is a node.js quick starter but in this example in this particular example provided by google uh, they are using uh, an oath to flow which is required to get an access token and with that access token we can make the subsequent calls to google drive api which is a complicated process and uh, might not be worth it if you are in a hurry so we will take a different approach what we will do is we will create a service account uh, in our google cloud console and uh, using that service account we will access that google drive directly so let's head over to console.cloud.google.com and create a new project if you don't have already i already have several projects and i am using this cloud storage testing project for this particular example this is the dashboard the first thing have to we have to do is we have to enable the google drive api to do that head over to apis and services enable api and services search google drive and uh, you will see there is a google drive api and you have to enable the api uh, i have already enabled the api for this one but uh, if yours is not already activated you will see a blue button called enable this api and you should be good to go that's it for enabling the api next we have to create a service account so head over to the dashboard again go to the api's overview and then you will see this credentials page on the left panel go to the credentials page and google uh, cloud we have uh, different concept of, and different types of credentials uh, some are oath to client ids which are mostly used some are api keys and some are service accounts we will use service accounts i already have created some service accounts but if you don't have any let's create one just to test it hit this create service account button give this a name test upload it's a video right so this is the name of the service account you can give some kind of description but that is not necessary hit create and continue select a role uh, for now we will be using this owner role just to permit all but this is not generally a good practice you have to fine grain the role but we will not go into that details for now hit continue the last step is grant other users access to this uh, service accounts okay we are having some issues here so let's say we give this storage admin and uh, uh, then you have to grant other users access to the service account this is optional so if you have other developers working on the project you can uh, allow them as well but we won't do that for now so hit done and uh, that's it so we have our new service account and if you hit here you will see a button called manage keys go there and uh, through keys you you can create a new key and you will hit key type is json hit create and be careful you have to keep this file in a safe place because you are only allowed to download it once hit save and we have a key.json file right if you open this key.json file let's see what's inside it uh, you can take that key.json file and you can save it inside your node.js project so i have a previously used service account whose key.json file is already inside my project and let's take a closer look at the key file okay so there are some uh, normal things type project id private key uh, several things but the thing that we are interested most is this client email copy this value the next step is we have to allow our service account so that it can use our google drive right so i have created a new folder in google drive called test and in this test folder i have to share the test folder with that particular client email so that that service account can access my uh, google drive without any kind of authentication without to auth to or any kind of api we can directly access this google api so the client email that we just copied you can paste it here and add it 
but we will not do it because we already you can see here that I have already shared it uh, with this particular service account so I don't have to do it but if you are uh, creating any new folder you have to share the folder first and whenever you share a particular folder all the folders and files under this directory is automatically shared so you don't have to permit every time under this parent folder right but if you go one step above you have to permit again so that's the idea so what we have done is we have created a service account we have downloaded the json file we have enabled the api we have copied the client email and we have shared that that google file drive folder with that particular client email that's done uh, all of these steps can be found in a blog step i will uh, blog i have i will add this link uh, to the uh, video description next we have to create a react js application this is a pretty straightforward react js application if you look at this component here so i am just rendering an input which will take input of a file and i have a submit button and uh, this input file what it does is it stores the selected file in a state variable so that we can use it later then in the handle submit that means when we will click the submit button what will happen is we will create a new form data we will append the form data uh, file into that form data uh, in, in inside this key file key field uh, just keep that in mind we will need this later and then we are calling this uh, local api you will use yours this api can change according to your need but we will we are creating a post request and the body will be this form data right all the codes will be in the description that's it on the front end side so this front end is submitting a post request to this url with the file inside this form data that's the idea let's head over to the back end so on, on the back end what we need to do is first we will need to install some dependencies so if you go to that blog post that i have written you will see that this is the front end code for the front end component then in the back end first we will have to initialize uh, install some dependencies so the dependencies that we are using first is google apis it will allow us to authenticate google to make request to our um, google rev api express obviously we are creating an express application course and malter so course is our uh, way to avoid any kind of uh, as we are accessing the api from the front end it will help us to avoid any kind of issues and malter is a popular library uh, you, you should be already familiar with it we are using malta to handle the file submissions right so the way we use malta is we install it and uh, this is a middleware so in an express route we pass this middleware we create an instance of malta and we pass this into the uh, route handler and the field that we specify here is uh, receiving the file for us okay so as you can see we are sending the front end uh, sending the file in the front end inside this file key so we have to receive it in the back end as a file key right so that's the basic idea so let's check out i have already installed this dependencies so i will not do it uh, let's uh, check our back end code so let's go to our malta instance first so this is our malta file handler what we are doing here is we are creating a malter instance with the disk storage uh, we are passing the file name and destination destination is just the current directory that's fine for now and we are specifying the file size here so that is our malter middleware but we have to feed this middleware that we are doing inside this auth route so inside this router inside this upload file route we are passing this malter middleware you can see here and we are specifying the field as file just one thing to keep in mind the front end and the back end keys should be similar so if we do this we should have the file inside request dot file field okay so inside this request dot file field we should have the file so that's about malta the last thing the most important thing is how we actually upload to google drive so to do that i have created a separate class if you look at the code in the blog you will see that we are creating the malta instance here then we basically have two steps in the first step we have to authenticate our application with our service key or service account file so that it can make api calls and google will uh, recognize our api calls as coming from that particular service account and the second thing is to upload to google drive so we'll discuss it later let's take a look inside this folder so this google google drive service 
the first function is the get auth so we are passing in the key file and we are specifying the scope here so this scope is uh, specifying to the google drive all of the activities in the google drive i will not discuss about the scopes but the idea of scopes is you can basically control how much permission you want to give to this particular service account right so you can only read uh, allow read permission or write permission or list permission something like that uh, so we are for now permitting everything and the key file is passing uh, the key file that we have downloaded previously from our cloud console and included inside this project we are passing it inside this variable so this is the first part we are authenticating and the second part is uploading to google drive so you can see that i am getting the auth instance here then i am creating some file metadata so the, this file is coming from our request inside the request dot file field so i am passing it inside this function here so the name you can give anything and parents this parents is basically the id of a particular folder so uh, we have already shared this root folder with our service account so we have to pass in this root folders id but how we are going to get this id if you look at the url you can see that you can get the id from here right so if you copy this one and you can just paste it in here so it will allow us to get the id right so that's the basic idea so all our folders uh, all our files will come inside this folder in the media we are uh, showing the mime type we don't need this and uh, we are converting the file file into a stream if you look here that buffer to stream this is a pretty straightforward function that takes in a buffer and convert it to stream we need to feed the stream and then google drive provides us we are getting an instance of the google drive here so google dot drive v3 and we are passing in the auth that we get got from our previous step and in the final step we are just calling this drive service dot files dot create function and inside this create we are passing in the file metadata media and this field says optional you can uh, skip it skip this so inside this response field if this is successful then your file should be uploaded successfully inside this google drive right and uh, just one thing to keep in mind as we are using multi disk storage so what multi disk storage does is it creates the file inside this disk but uh, we will not we, we don't want that file to stay here so we, are, we have to call this delete method to remove that file okay so that's about it let's test it the api is already up and running and our front end is also up and running so let's create a file before that let's check if there is anything in the folder so there is nothing inside this google drive let's upload my resume okay if we hit submit and if you check the so i have got the response and the file should be successfully coming inside this google drive folder so that's that's it to summarize uh, i hope you understood uh, all the codes will be in the description and uh, if you check out this blog all the codes will be here as well uh, just one thing another thing that i want to discuss is whenever we are handling this malter thing uh, we are using disk storage disk storage is good if we have very large file sizes but if we don't have very large file sizes we can even further optimize it we can just use the memory store so it will use the application memory so memory storage and uh, yes it will work in a similar way sorry i think i messed it up So instead of this disk storage just use this memory storage so in which situations will this help you let's see you're running this inside a docker docker container running this application inside a docker container and we know that docker containers are not good to use you can see that the second file is also coming here so you know that the docker files or docker containers doesn't allow permission shouldn't be allowing permission uh, as a root we should use some other users sometimes for example if you come here inside this docker file if you use this user node it will not have root permission and you will get an error saying that uh, you don't have write permission to the disk okay so in those situation we can use this memory storage it will not try to use in the use the disk and you should be good to go so 
that's about it uh, sorry for the long video thank you so much for watching see you in the next one